ericmwadetmwade.com. Let's take a look at the chart for Alcoa again. And this is just a follow-up from the video I recorded earlier this morning where we were discussing the daily chart. What I would like to do now is take a look at the hourly chart. And keep in mind we were talking about this entry here in the previous video in early January 2017. So let's take a look at that hourly chart as compared to what the daily chart was telling us. And the video is titled right there timing rebounds using RSI and MACD so let's take a look at the hourly and so we're gonna use the hourly here to time this entry here and also this pullback close before the nice move higher okay so let's use the RSI on the hourly and just to be clear on my RSI setting I use RSI setting of 26 the reason being that I try and remove as much of the volatility that can be seen on a smaller time frame when using 14. So on my chart setting, RSI is 26, just in case it looks a little bit different from yours. All right, let's go to the two lines that are going to help us here during this entry and this pullback low. All right, the first one is simply the recent and previous topside resistance line. As you can see, the market struggled when it hit this level. All these were rejections. Finally, we clear that resistance line here, which gives us this entry here. So that's a breakout on the hourly. So that's the first entry. Second one is pretty much using the same line, only that now we are going to extend that line there and here we can see uniform activity support here which gave us the lows on the RSI with support there backtest support which also gave us that entry so that's how you time those two entries now let's take a look at a slightly different view but the same conclusions so again we got this breakout top side resistance the market moves above that range that's an entry the stock hasn't looked back since then of course we can see it's gone higher there was a retest here during this lows what we can do here is use the uniformity principle by drawing a horizontal line based on this entry And this is what I call the uniformity method. Check the description for a link that will give you more details about this method here. And you see here uniform activity support during these lows here. And of course, since then, we've seen the stock recover and gone on, gone on to record higher highs. So those are the two ways you would have played the two levels I discussed here, this entry on the hourly and this pullback on the hourly. Eric Mwada with Mwada.com. Check the description for links about this and any other relevant subject matter that we've been discussing in this short video. Peace and blessings. E-S-E-S. -E Mwah. Woo.